Gentlemen, thank you for answering the call. We have a crisis on our hands. Reports indicate that Jurassic Park has been overrun by genetically modified dinosaurs and T-Rex. Genetically modified? What the f does that even mean? Hey, Joe, did you see this comment on our latest video? Yeah, I did. Check out this guy, Dylan Winkupman, 4926. He's been waiting for a shout out for months. Seems like he's a big fan of the POTUS gang. Can't blame him. We're pretty entertaining. Absolutely. All right, let's give him the shout out he's been waiting for. Hey there, Dylan Winkupman, 4926. Thanks for your support and for watching every single one of our videos since the beginning. We appreciate your dedication and enthusiasm. Shout out to you from the POTUS gang, Obama, Trump, and Biden. Keep watching and thanks for the great suggestion for the next video. Yeah, keep spreading the word and stay tuned for more exciting content from us. We might just take you up on that WWE idea. And to all our viewers out there, if you're enjoying the content as much as Dylan Winkupman 4926, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. That's correct, Barack. These creatures are not your typical dinosaurs. They're bigger, stronger, and apparently armed. Armed. Who would arm dinosaurs? This sounds like a job for Trump Enterprises. I'll build a wall to keep those dinosaurs out. Donald, we need to focus. These creatures are a threat to public safety. We need to neutralize them before they cause any more harm. Agreed, that's why I've assembled this task force. We need to act quickly and decisively. I say we nuke them. Send in the drones and drop bombs on those prehistoric pests. No, Donald, we can't risk causing more damage to the park or injuring innocent civilians. We need a more strategic approach. Barack's right. We need to assess the situation on the ground and come up with a plan. Trump, I need you to coordinate with local law enforcement and secure the perimeter of the park. You got it, Joe. I'll make Jurassic Park great again. Let's hope he doesn't make it worse. Barack, I want you to use your diplomatic skills to reach out to any experts who can help us understand these creatures and how to stop them. And I'll lead the team into the park to confront these dinosaurs head on. Let's move, gentlemen. The fate of Jurassic Park and possibly the world depends on us. All fine, Joe. But the notion of a heavily armed... Come on, Barack, think logically. This is clearly a science experiment gone wrong. It's not some divine punishment. Right. The initial intent was likely scientific advancement, but something clearly went off the rails. Reports suggest the scientists behind this project are now among the casualties. So what's our plan? We can't just sit here debating. The people need action. Agreed. But understanding the root cause is crucial. Why would scientists even attempt to recreate dinosaurs in the first place? It's about pushing boundaries, Barack. Advancing science has always been at the core of progress, but with great power comes great responsibility, and it seems that responsibility was neglected here. Responsibility? It seems more like reckless ambition to me. I gotta say, I agree with Barack on this one. Why mess with dinosaurs? Leave them in the past where they belong. Hindsight is 20 slash 20, gentlemen. We can't change the past, but we can certainly deal with the present. Let's focus on containing the threat and ensuring the safety of the public. Agreed. We need a multi-pronged approach, including scientific analysis, containment strategies, and coordinated response efforts. You are both right, but I still maintain my point. Why create problems that God has given you in the first place? Well, Donald, first you are beginning to nag like a woman. Secondly, I hate to break it to you, but sometimes problems seem to find their way to us, even without any divine intervention. Hey, that was just a harmless typo. Besides, it brought some humor to the people. Sure, if you consider confusion and embarrassment as humor, Speaking of embarrassing moments, remember when you tried to convince everyone that injecting bleach could cure COVID-19? Okay, that might not have been my finest moment, but I was just trying to think outside the box. Well, sometimes thinking outside the box leads to stepping in it, Donald. And let's not forget the time you wanted to buy Greenland. I mean, seriously, what were you thinking? Greenland has strategic importance, okay? And I'm a businessman. I know a good deal when I see one. Right, because buying an entire island without consulting anyone is the epitome of good deal making. Let's face it, Donald, your presidency was like a reality TV show gone wrong. Well, at least people were entertained. Entertained or terrified, it's hard to tell sometimes. Well, one thing's for sure, dealing with genetically modified and heavily armed dinosaurs and T-Rex might just be the most normal thing we've had to handle since your presidency. The situation just got even more complicated. I've received reports that the T-Rex is invisible until it gets within close range. This adds a whole new level of challenge to the mission. Visible and armed, who comes up with these ideas? We need regulations for these scientific experiments. Otherwise, we'll be fighting flying King Kongs next. Do we have any information on its weaknesses? Understanding that could give us an advantage. Unfortunately, the report didn't mention any weaknesses. It seems these creatures are evolving on their own, which would explain why the scientists were the first ones to fall victim to them. Typical. We're dealing with invisible armed dinosaurs with no known weaknesses. Just another day in the life of a president. Well, we faced tough challenges before, and we've always found a way to overcome them. We just need to stay focused and work together. These creatures are proving to be tougher than we anticipated. What are they made of, iron or vibranium? 
Our weapons seem useless against them. I don't think our weapons are useless. We just haven't figured out how to effectively use them against these creatures yet. Once we do, you'll see they're not so invincible. Donald's got a point. We need to keep trying different strategies until we find one that works. These dinosaurs are relentless, especially those T-Rex. They're fast and aggressive. We can't let them escape or our streets won't be safe anymore. Well, Joe, any bright ideas on how to take down these unstoppable beasts? B, you know, Barack, I've been thinking, maybe we could try appealing to their softer side. Like, what if we set up a dinosaur dating service? Maybe they're just lonely and looking for love. Oh, come on, Joe. We're he does have a point, though, Donald. Sometimes a little creativity can go a long way. But let's focus on practical solutions first. Fine, fine. But you can't blame a guy for trying to inject a little humor into a dire situation. Humor won't save us from a pack of rampaging dinosaurs, Joe. We need a plan. Well, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. We're getting our asses tossed around here, and all you can do is bring your senseless humor to the table? Hey, humor has its place, Donald. It's called coping mechanism. All right, let's not let this divide us. We have a serious problem on our hands. I suggest we lead these creatures on a wild goose chase, wear them out, and then strike when they least expect it. Believe me, Barack, I've been trying, but these dinosaurs are tougher than they look. My weapon isn't making much of a dent. Quit bickering and do what needs to be done. We can't afford to have these creatures roaming the streets of Washington. You know, Barack, I've been meaning to say this. You seem a bit off today. Your mind seems to be elsewhere while your body's here with us. Hey, Barack, did Michelle even give you permission to be out here with us? You're looking a bit hesitant. Yeah, Obama, did you sneak out of the house when Michelle wasn't looking? Very funny, guys. Michelle knows I'm capable of handling myself in a crisis. And I was really thinking I was blending in perfectly. Are you sure about that? You seem a bit rusty, like something doesn't seem right with you. We have seen you on another mission. We know the kind of energy that you exude on missions like this. I appreciate your concern, Joe. Everything is fine at home, don't worry. Perhaps I'm just not cut out for cleaning up other people's messes. And these creatures are definitely not within my area of expertise. Well, you're not alone, Barack. I don't think any of us were prepared to deal with invisible armed dinosaurs. Yeah, but hey, we're all in this together, right? It's like the good old days in the White House, just with a few more teeth and claws. You've got a point there, Joe. At least this time we don't have to deal with Congress breathing down our necks. But I know this will also end like other missions we have embarked on. We will triumph against these beasts and Jurassic Park will be safe for tourism again. Well, if there's one thing we're good at, it's turning chaos into a success story. I mean, look at us three former presidents fighting dinosaurs. Who would have thought? Yeah, maybe we should add Dinosaur Wrangler to our resumes right after we put these beasts to sleep. Hey, I can see it now, Donald J. Trump, dinosaur tamer extraordinaire. And Joe Biden, defender of democracy and slayer of T-Rexes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, fellas. These creatures are still at full strength. We still have a lot of work to do before we can claim victory. True, but I have a feeling we'll look back on this mission and laugh about it someday, assuming we make it out alive, of course. Ah, uh, don't worry, Donald. We're too tough to let a couple of oversized lizards take us down. That's the spirit, Joe. Now let's show these dinosaurs who's boss. Damn it, this dinosaur is relentless. Did you see the way it tossed us out of the vehicle? We're in for one hell of a mission. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's why we're the Brothers of Doom. We don't back down, we don't say never until the job is done. It'll tire out eventually and then it'll be our turn. The T-Rex is a real pain. It's like a wrecking ball tearing through everything in its path. It's not giving me a clear shot. Barack, can you help me distract it while I focus on taking down the big one? I just need a couple of clear shots. You got it, Joe. We'll keep the smaller ones busy while you line up your shots. All right, guys, let's do this. I need to get a perfect shot at that beast. I've got your back, Joe. Let's draw its attention away from you. And I'll make sure these smaller ones regret ever crossing paths with us. Here goes nothing. Steady. Steady. Over here, you overgrown lizard. Come get a taste of presidential power. You call that a bite? I've seen chihuahuas with more ferocity. Well, I may not have taken it down, but I sure gave it one hell of a hit. That's the spirit, Joe. You showed that overgrown lizard who's boss. Nice shot, Joe. You really rattled its cage. Wait, who invited these guys? That would be the Jurassic Park management. They've called in reinforcements to help contain the situation. Reinforcements? Since when do we need reinforcements? We were handling this just fine on our own? Come on, Donald. It's not a party until the police show up. Well, they could have shown up a lot sooner. We've been battling these beasts for ages. Let's focus on the task at hand, gentlemen. The police are here now and they're armed. We can use all the help we can get. If it were up to me, I'd send those security agents packing. I don't want anyone stealing the glory for what we've endured. Do you gentlemen understand where I'm coming from? I understand your sentiment, Donald. But let's not forget, we're all fighting for the same goal, the safety of our homes and the good people of America. It's not about who gets the credit, it's about ensuring the general safety of our citizens. Barack's got a point. We're out here risking our lives because we want our children and families to be safe. There's no harm in accepting help to ensure that safety isn't compromised by heavily armed dinosaurs and T-Rexes. Well, I'll be damned. You two are right. I've let my personal ambition cloud our collective goal. Let's put an end to this menace once and for all, and then we can all return home. Especially you, Barack, before Michelle notices you're missing. Oh, come on, Donald. You just had to ruin the moment with your commentary. And for the record, Michelle knows I can take care of myself with or without her approval. Let's focus on the task at hand, shall we? I need to take cover. I'm getting hit. 
You too, cover me. This dinosaur is relentless. Was it built for battle? What the hell? Yeah, run to safety, Sleepy Joe. I've got you covered. Have you noticed it's not as active as before? I noticed that too, but was hesitant to mention it. Hell no, Barack. Except for being a husband, a father, and a granddad, I just want my children and grandchildren to be safe. Well, I have to tip my hat to you, Joe. You've really outdone yourself. Nice job. Good job, Sleepy Joe, but we're not done yet. We need that grenade launcher to finish off this thing. Yeah, I'm on my way with it. Just need a moment to catch my breath. You guys can continue to distract it. I will come in hot with the bomb. That should do it. Just don't stop shooting at it yet to distract it from seeing me. Roger that sleepy Joe. Barack, shoot with all you have got. It's either now or never. Does it look like I have been playing? I want to get out of here as soon as possible, just like you, so I'm doing my best. Hey, Barack, are you sure all is well with you? I'm just trying to motivate you not to start another word battle with you, bro. It doesn't look like you are trying to motivate me. Well, I apologize for snapping. This mission is getting the best of me. All right, guys, this is it. This dinosaur is going down now, and we can finally get out of here. Let's freaking do this. Sleepy Joe, I trust your aim. We'll give you all the support we can from here. You got this, Joe. We're counting on you. Here goes nothing. Come on, Joe. Hit that sucker right in the sweet spot. You've got this, Joe. Make it count. Bullseye. Got yeah. Now, who is the baddest? Yes, that's how it's done, Sleepy Joe. Now, this is what it means to be the president of the United States of America. That's how you can do it, Sleepy Joe. Nicely done, Joe. You just saved Jurassic Park. Let's make sure all of them are dead. We don't want any surprises once we leave here. We owe it to the people of America to ensure their safety. You know, Joe, what you just did was epic. I bet nothing could survive that blast. But for the sake of Americans, let's double check. Although I'm pretty sure they're all toast by now. Trump's got a point. That explosion was massive. Even the dead would die again. Let's go around just to satisfy our curiosity. Damn right, Barack. We're not just presidents, we're protectors. We don't hide behind the confines of our office. We go all out to ensure the safety of our people. You know, guys, despite all the chaos and craziness, it's moments like this that remind me why we took on the mantle of leadership in the first place. Absolutely, Donald. Our duty to protect and serve doesn't end when we leave office. It's a lifelong commitment. Let's not get sentimental now, gentlemen. We've still got a lot of work to do to ensure the safety and security of our nation. Agreed. But for now, let's take a moment to appreciate this victory. We came, we saw, and we conquered. That's the mark of true leadership.